Good afternoon, everybody. It is, yes, Chad from Colorado Giants. First time pretty much this spring that I've been out looking at the pumpkin patch with the thoughts of pumpkins rolling around in my mind. Uh, just got back from the, uh, the Great Pumpkin Commonwealth Expo in... Where the heck were we at? We were in uh, Green Bay. It was a really good time. Got me all kind of getting the juices flowing for everything that's going to transpire this year. Uh, going to make some changes, but not a lot of like big changes. Uh, one of the changes is going to be these hoop houses over here. I'm going to go with some uh, different hoop houses, remake those a little bit better, and change up my watering a little bit. So, flip it around here. So yeah, it's been a it's been a great winter off. Everything's still going. Yes, everything is still going. Sorry, uh, it's been a great winter off. I haven't done basically anything pumpkin related all winter. And if I'm being honest, it was quite nice um, because I've been spending time with uh, with my son and uh, Emily and I are doing our thing with him, but. He's, uh, he's doing great. I love him more than anything in the whole wide world. And that is awesome. But it's springtime and it's uh, it's pumpkin time. Well, it's kind of springtime. As you can see with the snow, we had about, I don't know, 10 inches from our, our bomb cyclone blizzard that we had last week. So that was pretty gnarly before I went to uh, Green Bay. But uh, so here we got some changes. Let me flip the camera around again. Whoop. And we'll continue on. So part of what I'm going to do different this year with what I learned at the expo is I'm going to mix my fertilizers basically a gallon at a time. And then I'm going to try to do some uh, a little bit different overhead cooling strategy. So that's why I got these barrels, picked them up off of Facebook classifieds for the stately sum of 40 bucks. So good score on those. And then I got some wood to start making the new hot huts um once the rest of the parts arrive hopefully i'll make my first prototype one uh tomorrow this weekend today is what today's tuesday so hopefully this weekend i'll have some time to punch those out and then uh, make two more grow on three pumpkins this year i'll show you the seeds that i've chosen shortly but probably the biggest purchase i've made in a long time so it's important to note i am not a cheap guy uh I, I usually, I have no problem spending like a hundred dollars at a time times that by like three $100 purchases. I typically don't mind that, but what I almost never, ever, ever, ever do is make a big purchase, but I've been saving my pennies for a few years and I made a big purchase today. And that is a brand new BCS rototiller. So this is not just a rototiller in the sense of the word that it's it's just a rototiller so this has a, a pto drive with a quick coupling that i had added to it so that i can actually take this off and add on um, any number of accessories so i could add uh you know think snowblower uh, uh a different plow um power washer wood splitter Basically, what, whatever you want, anything that you could add to a tractor, you can add to this. This is a 13 horsepower Honda engine with 24-inch uh, tires on it so and a 30-inch tiller. So this will have the horsepower that I need and a big enough tiller to go down all the way to the clay and dig up some of that clay that's at the bottom of my pumpkin patch. As well as, you know, you can add a lawnmower to this because my riding lawnmower is on its last legs and this has some kind of fancy contraption where you could uh you can like put a mower on it and it gets a little seat back here and you swing the handlebars around it's some kind of wacky contraption that eventually i will probably get but you don't want to know how much this cost uh truth be told i don't want to know how much it costs but i need it my my rototiller that i had is is just too small the tines spin like an egg beater rather than a tiller so it just wasn't cutting the mustard and uh you know i got this one bcs is considered to be the best so i just want to make the purchase once uh 
It's easier to beg for forgiveness than ask for permission. Just kidding. Emily did know that I was getting this, and I had her blessing. So let's go inside. We'll check out uh, the seeds. All right, and we're back. So these are uh, most of the seeds that I'm growing this year. There's some other things in here like uh, like my backup seeds that aren't aren't in this mix. But three pumpkins this year. Uh, I only want to do three. I want to try the experiment of having one 800 square foot plant again and just for time management only having three plants is where I'm going. So we're going to go with a big orange one. So this one is a Howard Dill winner. It's basically Howard Dill winners all the way back, but it does have 2009 mixed into its DNA, so it should go heavy. Um, I was able to meet Don Barron at the convention this past week, and this is, was his recommendation. So this is the uh, 1984 Barron. He said that this had a better plant than his pumpkin that went 28% heavy. So going with Don's recommendation, going with this guy, and then, of course, the 1911 Urena, which grew the 2,558, I believe, pound pumpkin, the new U.S. champion. I'm uh, going to grow a bushel gourd this year, world record bushel gourd seeds, and some uh, Farmer Brown seeds that he gave me, long gourd, giant pear gourd, and the club grow, the tall sunflowers. And then this guy right here, unfortunately, last year my uh, my time-lapse camera took a took a dump on me and I had to get a new one. So this is the new um, Ephidus time-lapse camera. It's it's much more intuitive than the old Breno camera. It, it's controlled via an app so I can set it to go on and off um, at different days, different times with whatever interval I want. So I'm looking forward to setting that up and letting it run uh, you know, all season long. Truth be told, I'd like to have two and do one on the plant and one on the pumpkins, but uh, you know, considering I just bought a new expensive rototiller, my spending will be basically negligible for the rest of the year. But that's it for this update, guys. Comment below. Let me know what you're growing this year. I'd love to uh, find out. Like, share, make sure you subscribe.